All right, Randy, so you as the tight end in this offense, what's you? what do you see your real role as? Is it more blocking? Is it more pass catching? Is it – and what do you like to do the most? I see my role being a bit balanced. You know, we are a run-heavy team. You know, we tend to take our shots to uh, – I do feel like I'm more explosive in our pass game. You know, that's what I bring to the table a little bit more. I'm a little undersized when it comes to uh, – stat-wise on paper and stuff like that, but I feel like my blocking is really well, you know, so just embracing the blocking and stuff like that, that's what I try to do. I try to be uh, the best I can at blocking. Um, I talk with guys in the screen about improving more on my pass protection and stuff like that, but uh, I do enjoy uh, receiving a lot more, but, um, you know, to win games, you got to put the ball down and run it. You know, when it comes to playoff time, you know, the guys know what you're going to do, so you got to buckle up, put the ball down, and be tough. The part of this offense, I think, that everyone kind of forgets is that it is kind of a really run-first offense, and it does rely on you a lot to block. What's it like, like, put me inside your helmet, what's it like blocking against Big 12 athletes? Um, uh, it's, it's different. You know, I'm 6'2", 230 pounds. Uh, we got one of the best pass rushers in the conference, but like I lost, and uh, I'll go against that guy almost every day. You know, he gives me real live reps. And he's preparing me for the, uh, you know, the real games. And uh, just looking back at when I was a young guy, freshman last year, uh, I got in. I held my own last year. You know, I let up one sack against uh, Georgia Tech uh, bowl game. But um, as a whole, I felt like you know, I held my own and I did what I needed to do. Those guys were a lot, a lot bigger than me, and they're, you know, they're big, strong guys. And, and coach does his best job as, you know, as he can to try to avoid getting those matchups because that could, that could potentially hurt us. You know, thinking about matchup wise, but. Um, you know, just looking at what I could do as far as, you know, manipulating, not blocking the end and blocking the linebacker or taking anything like that out of proportion where, you know, that doesn't have to be a situation has been big in our offense. When um, last year you learned from some really good veterans, what's the most important thing, like the biggest thing that you took with you into this year? I would say uh, one thing Alan Hall taught me was that nothing, you know, you don't always have to, you know, blow somebody up. You know, sometimes it's just covering the guy up. You know, it, sometimes it has to be man, you, ball. And that's just one of the things that I really embraced and, uh, you know, took a heat of when I play. Because a lot of times you tend to want to be a lot more aggressive. You want to make the big play, especially when you're, when you're in a position of competing and stuff like that. So I'm, I, you know, I'm worried about just making a block, keeping my head inside, and just finishing through. Tell me about playing with KJ. He's coming in, he's new. You're actually a veteran compared to him, at least in terms of UCF, because this is your second year, this is his first. What's it like playing with him? What's he like in the huddle? Yeah, uh, it's big time playing with him. You know, he's a great leader. He played, played football at the highest level. He played in the SEC. Uh, just bringing some of the knowledge that he's had you know, from his coaches and, and the level that he's played at has been big. You know, he stepped up uh, big time as a leader. You know, he, whenever anything is miscommunicated or anything that he thinks it should be like this way, he's big on coming to me or coming to, you know, the offense as a whole, making sure everybody's on the same page. So uh, I've really embraced his leadership and, and taken, you know, a role under his wing. Is he like a rock rock guy or is he like a everybody stay cool under pressure guy? Um, he's a little bit of both. You know, he, he, it's kind of... I haven't I haven't really seen too too much, but he sometimes he can get there. Sometimes he's all right, guys. We got it. We got. It, let's go. You know. So uh, just you know, just taking that advice from him. You know, what I'm saying whatever he does, give that advice. Whatever he's speaking, you know, every every guy has their eyes on him. We're all paying attention. All right, last question for you. Give me a sense of how explosive you expect this offense to be this year. I'm sorry. Give me a sense of how explosive this offense is going to be this year compared to last year? Uh, I, think, I think we're going to be very explosive. You know, think about, you know, we think about guys like RJ Harvey and KJ Jefferson and, you know, some Kobe Hudson. You know, we're very explosive. Xavier Townsend, you know, uh, just, just looking at me and where I'm going to be in the offense too, you know, I feel like we're going to be a big, 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 powerful offense. Uh, we're big up front as far as the old line. I feel like we've got veterans up there, so I feel like we're going to be big. We're going to be a top five offense. Cool. Thanks, Randy.